Hello and welcome to the Bon Maj cooking channel. Today we'll be making a Greek yogurt cake soaked in ouzo syrup. Here are the ingredients you will need. In a mixing bowl, add your egg whites and a pinch of salt and whisk at a high speed until your whites are frothy. Once it reaches that point, add the 1 8 cup of sugar and whisk until you have glossy stiff peaks. This is a basic meringue. Set it aside and clean your mixing bowl. In the clean bowl, add your butter and one cup sugar. Mix for 15 minutes until the butter is creamy and fluffy. Add the yolks one at a time so they are fully incorporated. Once the yolks are fully mixed in, add the yogurt, orange zest and lemon zest, and vanilla extract and blend to combine. Set this mixture aside. Sift together your flour and baking powder into another bowl. Now you want to fold all of your ingredients together one third at a time. We added the meringue and dry ingredients into the wet mixture. Using an ice cream scoop or tablespoon, add the mixture to a prepared cupcake pan or cupcake cups. Before baking, drop your preheated oven temperature from 375 to 350 and bake for 50 to 55 minutes. Once they are golden on top and brown on the edges, it is complete. Now to make your syrup. Here are the ingredients you will need. Add the water, ouzo, and sugar into a pot and stir to dissolve. We also decided to add a bit more liquor to ours. Let it come to a boil until it has slightly thickened. Remove it from the heat and allow it to cool. Once the syrup has cooled, pour the syrup over the cakes and allow it to soak. We also made roasted grapes to go with this. Go ahead and toss the grapes in olive oil and salt and pepper. Bake the grapes in a 400 degree oven for at least 10 to 15 minutes or at least until the skin blisters. We also made honey yogurt to go with this by just taking plain yogurt and combining it with honey. We also toasted some almonds as well. Just go ahead and place them in a hot oven until they turn a golden brown. This is how we plated our cake, but go ahead and have fun with it. This is a great cake to serve at a small party or if you're trying to impress someone this Valentine's Day. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And until then, bon appetit.